Barca are not happy at all with what happened with the with Gavi. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we discuss about Pablo Gavi. Serious injury, how is this going to affect Barcelona plans on the transfer market? And also, what's the feeling? What happened behind the scenes? Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start this video by sending a big hug to Pablo Gavi. It's a horrible moment for the super talented midfielder who has clear indication sent on player side, on Spanish national team side and on Barcelona side, torn his ACL. So he won't be back till next season to wear the Barcelona shirt. A horrible moment, really. For, uh, for Gavi, his uh, first serious injury. He's a super young player, obviously, so it's the first time that he's experiencing something like that. And from what I'm told yesterday night in the dressing room after the game from the Spanish national team, Gavi uh, was really crying like a baby, then he was going to the hospital for the first test and immediately the feeling was for something very serious. And then this ACL injury that is going to keep Gavi out of the pitch for the next six, seven, eight months. It always depends on the player recovery, on the process, but it's around six to eight months. So we wish all the best to Pablo Gavi, but the situation in the Spanish dressing room was really, really sad after after the game. All the teammates have a great relationship with Gavi, so all of them were worried for, for him and for his reaction to his first serious injury. Also, the player was absolutely destroyed, but also in Barcelona, they were absolutely destroyed, but also furious. Some people in Barcelona can't understand why, after rotating almost the entire team, the manager of the Spanish national team, De La Fuente, decided to keep going with Pablo Gavi. It's true that Pablo Gavi loves to play. He wants to play always. He's a very competitive guy. So uh, he's not someone who says, OK, I want to rest today. But at the same time, um, he's playing a lot for Barcelona. He's playing a lot for the Spanish national team. So probably for that kind of game, uh, they were playing for nothing, basically. Having Pablo Gavi on the pitch is something that didn't make Barcelona happy even before the game, imagine after that injury. So Barca are not happy at all with what happened with, uh, with Gavi, Barca are furious. Uh, also the message from Barcelona is that now for them could be a big change, a big impact also on the transfer market. We know their situation with the financial fair play and that's why Barca were fighting and working and discussing with late lawyers to make the Vitor Roque deal happen. In January, uh, let me clarify that the Vitor Roque deal between Barcelona and Atletico Paranaense is already done, signed, uh, is completed. But to register the player in January, Barcelona are fighting uh, the best way to have Vitor available at the beginning of the new year. But at the same time, now with the injury of Pablo Gavi, they could look into some opportunity also in the midfield. Of course, now in the next month or so, they will lose some uh, player internal player, obviously they have La Masia where they always produce top talents, but at the same time on the January transfer window they have to consider the possibility to look at some opportunity in that position, in the midfield position. Some short-term opportunity because obviously Pablo Gavi is part of the long-term plan at Barcelona, but it's also true that this injury is something serious and so they don't need to rush his recovery, it has to be step by step. And also, Barcelona are not happy at all, again, with what happened on the pitch yesterday because they wanted to see probably Gavi resting uh, and not again and again and again on the pitch. The manager, Luis de la Fuente, said in a very clear way that um, it's very clear that this was an accident. Uh, this could happen to any player, he said. It happened to Gavi, but this was mm, something absolutely uh, not, uh, not preventable. So this is what he said in public after the game. At the same time, guys, it's a big issue for Barcelona because Gavi will not be available and Barca have to keep an eye again on the transfer market for potential midfielders in general. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Gavi uh, situation, really unlucky, we sent him a big hug, send us your comments here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon with Fabrizio, ciao!